tonight is Monday, February 27th, 2023. It's about 7.15 p.m. Central Time. And we're here outside of the St. Louis Union Station. It also says St. Louis Aquarium. But uh, the aquarium would be closed at this present hour. This Union Station way back in the day was like a major train hub. And now it's sort of been turned into a big entertainment district. The arrows are pointing like to the entrance being this way. I'm not quite, because I've never studied it per se, I don't know if there's like a good uh, particular spot to enter because it's a large facility. You can see the type of structure that is above us right now. And there are there's probably gonna be a lot of music playing in this, so I'm not gonna, <laughs> not gonna be able to avoid that. But a lot of different attractions, like soda fountain right there, candy, burgers, and booze. And I didn't, I didn't know this was an outdoor, like you're still outside in the elements. I thought maybe you'd be going inside. Maybe some parts you go inside. This is where the St. Louis Aquarium would be at Union Station. So this is where the aquarium entry would be. I think the aquarium closes at 5 o'clock p.m. I don't know if there's any way we can get close to the door. A oh, man, I don't really want to go up there, but I mean, maybe one of the other windows. Looks like there's a restaurant over there. The train shed restaurant. Oh, this is pretty cool. This is like a big water pond. I like the reflection off of it too. I know the video is getting darker over here since there's not as many lights, but hopefully once we get around, it won't be so dark. Actually, to keep it lighter, I'm going to have the camera pointed this way with my eyes glued to the, to the water to make sure I'm not like tripping into it. I have to see where it's actually located, like if it's here, if it's uh, somewhere else, if it's everywhere. But there's supposed to be a light show. In fact, let me stop and take a peek at that real quick. Oh, I was going to say Koi Pond because I only time I know it's too dark to come up. Let me put some light on that. Koi Pond. I remember seeing that in an episode of The Office. <laughs> where people just like walk right into those things
Yeah, I'm going to try to look up where the light show things are located. Did you know this was the site of Chateau, Chateau's Pond in the 1800s, built in the 1790s when the mill stream was dammed for a flour mill? This once popular retreat was drained in the 1850s and its flat land became the perfect location for Union Station's 42 train tracks. There's Landry's Seafood House. So there's something called a fire and light show. It says 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the top of the hour. I think it happens on this right here, if I'm not mistaken, based on the pictures I'm seeing. So at 8 o'clock I'm going to have to remember to come out to this area. Let me see where the light show is. The Grand Hall light show. from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. I think that one runs more frequently though. Oh, it says run on the hour, 5 to 10. Huh. So I might have to pick and choose which one I'm seeing. <laughs> well, since we're not close to the hour yet, let's keep going around. This is the Purina Performance Plaza, I guess. We got some squishy animals here at this little pop-up shop. Looks like at certain points of the day there's like caricature drawings that people, uh, a vendor does. Here's the soda fountain place. I might try to grab something to eat there if I'm able to before it closes. They sell ice cream, candy, burgers, and booze. Let's try to continue navigating Union Station here. Another shot of Landry's. Got like a little playground for kids. Here's the carousel at Union Station. And then right behind the carousel is the mini golf entrance. Again, a lot of these things more open during the daytime, but it's fun that you can kind of still like walk up to them at this time of day. Let's get a closer shot of what the... Mini golf looks like. So it's more standard stuff, like there's not uh, things getting in your way like obstacles, just a regular putting green with some light hills, but I'm sure that's entertaining. Some more trivia signs around here about like when it was built, 
Union Station opened September 1st, 1984. Let me get out of that light so it's easier to see. Took two and a half years to build. There's three sections, the train shed, head house, and the midway. It was the largest train station in the world when it was built. Today, instead of trains, you find the aquarium, ropes course, mirror maze, places to eat. Outside, you can ride the carousel, St. Louis wheel, or play a game of mini golf. Yes. Uh, it's called Coco Traveler, like P O K O, and then the word Traveler. Yeah. So like right now, this isn't a live one. This is sometimes I do live videos with my cell phone, but like this one, it's called a DJI DJI Pocket Two. So it's like a real tiny, but it shoots uh, very high quality video and picks up my audio pretty good too. Uh huh. All right, yeah, this is this is really cool. I love this thing. All right, thank you. Have a good one. That was nice. She was asking if I was a YouTuber, and then information about the camera that I use. So if you want to take a ride on the wheel. I don't know if they list the price here. Yeah, they do in the middle. Wheel is $15 for adults. And I think the wheel's open till like 9 o'clock. And I guess you would get the tickets over there. I don't think there's anyone riding it like right now, so I could have my own private ride if I really wanted to. I also, during some parts of the day, it looks like they have a taco bar over there. I think, I guess to actually get into the wheel, maybe you go that way. They seem to have some old train cars here. Like the Polar Express. Now I need to get my bearings a little bit because somewhere there's an actual like big indoor building. Maybe that's where the aquarium was. But let me check out Google Maps and try to figure that out. I guess it could be behind the wheel too. Let's see what's behind here just in case. This says dreary inns and suites, and you also have Lombardo's restaurant. There's another parking lot over here to the left where they have a nice signage for St. Louis Union Station. Over there, I think that's the city field maybe where the new soccer stadium is in the distance. But let's, I'm gonna go ahead and check out Google Maps now and figure out where this interior is. Yeah, so this is Like this would be the end on one part of the Union Station. So Grand Hall appears to be back this way. 
Maybe it's actually in the hotel. Backtracking a little bit, back by the koi pond. I'm going to skip forward a little bit here since this area was dark. Oh, so I didn't even realize that's where like the koi pond area was. And I, I guess you could come into this area. Alright, so this is the, must be the indoor component. Well, they even have a directory over here. Oh, <laughs> the directory went away as I was trying to show it. Here's how you actually get to that train shed restaurant that we saw from the outside when we first came in. Here's the outside of the St. Louis Aquarium. Up on the second level, looks like there's a pretty advanced ropes course. And then during the day, there must be various eating places like the Union Station, St. Louis Cookies and Cupcakes, an aquarium gift shop over there. Looks like that's gated off at the end there, so I'm not going to go there. That's probably like encompassing the aquarium. But let's take this to the second level. Because it seems like you can get to the ropes course on the left and it says mirror maze maybe on the other side. Obviously these things are closed at this time. You got to come during certain hours. Yes. I'm sure this, this would be a blast for like if you're touring and you're actually coming during the day and you have kids or um, probably adults could enjoy it too. But it's like its own big theme park, right? The mirror maze. And you've got more aquarium related stuff over there. I want to know if there's a way to get to the other side. Obviously you can't get there from here. There's got to be something that I'm missing. Like, I feel like there should be access to the building way over there. 
Maybe that's where you have to go truly out to the front of the street. Because there's supposed to be something here that has like a... Un in the old like architecture of the building, it has a very unique arch to it. Like a whispering corner. And if you whisper from one end, the person that's on the complete opposite end could hear whatever you're saying. It's just supposed to be like a unique feat how the sound travels. Let's see, is there an exit here? That may be an outdoor patio. There is a staircase there, but I think that's roped off. So we're going to go ahead and take this back downward. I still need to do a little bit more research on how to get to that whispering station that I'm thinking of. Is it close to 8 o'clock? It's 7.41. I want to make sure I'm not risking missing... Uh, the light show. Alright, so right now I'm relaxing on a bench outside the koi pond. I think what my plan is, is it's 7.51 p.m. right now. The light, sh light and fire show is supposed to take place right here at the top of the hour, which I assume is 8 o'clock, meaning like 9 minutes from now. And then the light show that takes place inside of Grand Hall, which is indoors, and we haven't been to that spot yet takes place on the top of the hour as well so I could try to catch that one at nine o'clock but the kill time in between I'll try to see the show here if there's not a big weighted soda fountain which is right over there I'll grab something to eat there and then hopefully I'll be able to walk my way around to the front where the, that's probably <laughs> that is like the main entrance I guess is very fancy architecture I kind of came in the back way to look at the outdoor stuff first We'll be able to tour hopefully the inside of Grand Hall and maybe that's where that whispering thing is and we'll see the light show there. So yeah, next time I do the video, hopefully hopefully there's a fire and light show and hopefully I'm not sitting here waiting for something that never comes. Alright, so according to my phone, we're about like 20 seconds away from 8 o'clock p.m. Now, assuming this is accurate and this is running every day, we should see a fire and light show. Uh, an impressive one starting here. There's no other audience really around at this point. Oh, I heard the music dimming. Maybe that's going to start.
got the music component and a little bit of the light show, singing with the music. Still seeing when the fire's gonna come out though. So do they not do the fire and light show all the time? Like when you look at the website, it says fire and light show daily at the lake, 12 to 9 p.m. It says multi-million dollar breathtaking fire, water, and light music show features 100 foot long waterfall with 50 nozzles that spray water 40 feet down into the lake. Get ready to see and feel the explosive power of the lake's fire feature during the show. Eight lotus-shaped pods on the lake shoot flames 25 feet into the air. So we got the 
pods with the lights, but we, ne we never got the fire. I don't know if that's because it's like technically winter still, but it, the website says daily at the lake. Darn it. <laughs> oh well. Still was a nice music show, I guess. So I came to the train shed instead where I'm ordering a pulled pork sandwich and it should come with waffle fries and then also I got fried mac and cheese so we'll see if that comes out and I may be able to time up that light show in the grand hall in time. We'll see because right now it's 822 that light show is at 9 o'clock. Starting off with the fried mac and cheese. And there's the full thing. Certainly no shortage of food. Got a full sandwich and a bunch of waffle fries. Alright, just finished eating at the train shed. And it is 8.48. So hopefully I have enough time to make it around to the front. And we can check out this light show that's in the grand area of the station so sorry we couldn't see the fire i still have to google and see if that is out of commission or something as far as the food at the train shed goes it was the pulled pork sandwich was delicious that's two pulled pork sandwiches i've tried here in st louis uh, i don't know if i can get out here let me go through the this way. They've got these barriers up, so I don't know if it's blocking it off. But anyway, yeah, the pulled pork sandwich was delicious. The waffle fries that came with it were okay. Okay, but they were like kind of dry. And then the fried mac and cheese was pr pretty tasty too. But really the pulled pork sandwich is what what made it. So that was showing the exterior of Union Station or like the pavilion area we're gonna go to the front and this is where I think we'll see the impressive architecture of the old Union Station and Grand Hotel There might be a way to get to this spot, like a cut through from where we were, but I'm just not. From where we were, I was giving a glance, I couldn't find a way to get through. Like, I would have thought you could go past the aquarium area. I swear they had it blocked off with that fence. Maybe during the daytime they have a more direct connection between the facilities. Or maybe I just missed something.
says not an entrance on those doors. You can see the St. Louis Arch down there in the distance. A little bit. With all those uh, traffic lights, I don't think it's picking up well on the camera, per se. But here's the front of what's now known as Union Station Hotel. Probably have to be across the street to get a good perspective of the building. I don't know if this is the same spot as where the Grand Hall is. Let me walk a little bit further down. Eight fifty four PM. There again over there is the soccer stadium or soccer field. I don't know which one's the entrance to the Grand Hall. Maybe it's this thing here? Union Station? Or is it just signage? Terminal Hotel. Hmm. It looks like that one's not open, so we'll see. Where do you go for this? Is it up the stairs on the second level or is it lower level? We'll give this a shot. Oh, okay. So I just opened that door on the outside, and I'm assuming this is the Grand Hall. This. It's also like a station grill out here. Let's try to look at the architecture and I'm pretty sure this is where the light show is going to take place yeah they've converted this in something they call station grill So my phone says 8.59. Hopefully we don't go over for 2 with these light shows at Union Station. I don't know how well the architecture is showing up. Like if it's just... Like in person I can see the detail of it.
but I don't know if the camera's only showing like the bright white at the top. Maybe since I'm up closer over here, you can see the architecture. Oh, it's starting to dim. Is it going to be too dark to see? change the quality to give it some better, a little bit more light.
So that was a, it was a cool light show in person. Unfortunately, because of like how dark it is, it's one of those things where the camera didn't really pick it up or picked up intermittently. But yeah, trust me, it was uh, cool. Interesting that they're keeping the lighting like dim almost right now. I don't know if that's a, they're going to keep it like that. So since I've never experienced a light show, I don't know if it's like fully over or if it's just like a transitionary thing. Because now this ceiling changed to... The camera's showing it up as blue, but it's more of a dark purple in person. And there's some light, like that light light show things going on still. And then in the background there, you can see like the f flames being held by the... Now we're changing to more of like a red vibe. So actually, where I first came in, I believe this is the Whispering Arch area. I know it's because it's so dark right now, you really can't see the architecture on this particular video. You more so see the stained glass. But maybe if I get closer, it'll be a little more visible. Yeah, it's a little more visible here. But you've got this archway here and supposedly I'll use my flashlight to illuminate the flashlight on my phone to illuminate this it says whispering arch the whispering arch is an architectural accident or is it the share of secrets it was discovered when the station was built in the 1890s a workman dropped a hammer on one side of the arch and a painter on the other side, nearly 40 feet away, heard him. Since the discovery, the arch has been a witness to marriage proposals and countless other secretive declarations. To experience this phenomenon yourself, simply face the wall and speak into the arch, and your whispering voice will be heard on the other side. So it says, face the wall and speak into the arch. I'm thinking of testing this, maybe, by putting my phone on the ground here and, like, trying it from that side and seeing if like my voice gets picked up on an audio recording. So I'm gonna let you, we'll try to work this out here. Give me a second. All right, so I put my phone on the ground. You can't see it again because it's so dark, but I have my cell phone there recording. I'm gonna go to this side and I'm gonna say something and then I'm gonna listen back on the phone and see if it picks it up. So I'm gonna whisper. Hey, Popo Traveler fans, can you hear us? So normally in that voice, someone on the other end would not be able to hear us. But I'm going to go back and then I'll play my phone and see if anything got picked up on it. So unfortunately, I went and played back my phone and I don't want to say that it didn't work. Well, I definitely know like it works because people have done it before and it's a proven thing that it works. But in terms of trying to hear it on my phone, the music at the event in general or not the event, in the Grand Hall in general, was so loud that all you could hear on my phone was like the loud music playing in the background. So unfortunately I couldn't like record the effect, but it probably would work better, you know, if you had another person with you where they truly have their ear up to that and, you know, you can kind of sort of block out the music from the, as opposed to doing the phone recording. But yeah, that will do it for our tour of Union Station. Uh, another, it's another place where probably during the daytime and certain times of the year, it would be uh, you know, more vibrant and busy. 
but it was still enjoyable. Now, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you next time.